Hail Caesar is the newest film by the Coen brothers, and it's about a movie star played by George Clooney who's in an old Hollywood production of a movie called Hail Caesar, and he gets kidnapped and a ransom is set for his release. But that's sort of just like the plot synopsis, like the very condensed version of what this movie's actually about. And what it's really about is... Hmm. The Coen brothers are uniquely different, and I mean that as a high, high compliment. These guys have made another very strange, extremely original comedy that really is hard to classify. Josh Brolin is really the lead character of this movie, and he plays sort of the fixer, the guy who walks around on this studio and just fixes little problems. Maybe it takes a little pushing, maybe a little slapping, but he gets it done. And he was so good in this movie. This movie came out very early this year, but I think if this movie came out later in the year, he would be getting Oscar buzz for his role. He is terrific in this movie, so funny, so likable, and who also is really great, and possibly even the standout of the entire movie is Alden Ehrenreich. He portrays an actor who's mostly known for being the cowboy type character. He might grab a guitar and sing a song or do some crazy stunts, but when he's set in a drama and suddenly has to sit there and give a good performance, the director, played by Ray Fiennes, is like, Holy crap, this guy sucks. And it creates possibly the funniest scene in the movie. There's also some really clever visual imagery throughout this movie. My buddy Drew, who I saw this movie with, picked up on this guy playing with his spaghetti at his dinner, twirling his spaghetti string around like a lasso, a total visual play on spaghetti westerns. There's a lot of really great stuff like that throughout this movie, and I was really entertained consistently. It's so strange. This is a very strange movie. I must stress that. It's so different, and I can totally totally see a lot of audience members being turned off by this, especially since one of the audience members in my theater snored throughout the entire thing. But the combination of good performances by people like George Clooney, Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum, along with really excellent writing and a great satire on old Hollywood movies and how they were made, along with beautiful cinematography once again by Roger Deakins, made Hail Caesar a really great movie to watch, and one that does have some narrative problems. My issue with this movie is entirely based on tone. It can go from extreme hilarious to semi-serious to very odd to almost religious and heavenly back to a somber movie and then funny again and while that's really entertaining and great to see a movie so different and original it can make the road that this movie is traveling a little bit rocky also in typical Coen Brothers style it ends rather abruptly and you might not have that feeling of closure or catharsis that you were looking for but that's a Coen Brothers thing and that's not necessarily an excuse like oh it's the Coen Brothers all their movies end sort of strangely but they do. <laughs> but also, like with most Coen Brothers movies, if you dig deep enough and look under the surface, you're gonna find some really cool things happening. But unfortunately, that tone isn't always consistent, and this can make some scenes drag, while others are just pure gold. I'm gonna give Hail Caesar a B plus. It's not like their greatest movie or anything, but it's certainly not one of their worsts either. So guys, I am really, really excited about something. I really, truly am. I've mentioned this before. I talked about it in my review for The Forest. I was given the immense privilege to be able to write my first book thanks to the cool people at Mango Media who contacted me. They had an idea for a book and they thought I was right for it. And I spent most of the latter half of last year writing this book and it is truly a dream come true. And I have my first copy of it in my hand right here. The Film Buffs Bucket Lists 50 movies from the year 2000 to 2015 that I feel you should see. It also contains a foreword by my good friend Scott Mance, which I was so, so truly privileged to have his writing in this book. I was so, so pleased when he agreed to do that forward. Guys, it's coming out on March 5th. You can pre-order it now on Amazon. The link is in the description below. It's also going to be sold by the great people at your nearest Barnes & Noble bookseller, which is just, I, it's just truly, I, I, I don't know what to say. I really can't process the fact that I'm holding a book that I wrote and it's an amazing dream come true. Also, it's gonna be in tons of independent bookshops around the United States. I'm so excited about that because those are my favorite ones to go to. Like I said, the Amazon pre-order link is in the description below. If you guys feel like you would like to support me, I just thank you so much for the fact that you guys have watched my videos. Because of you guys, I was able to obtain one of my dreams of writing a book, and I so, so thank you for that. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Definitely check out Hail Caesar if you feel you'd like to see an original film that tributes the way old films were made. You guys are the best, and stay tuned on Sunday, because I'm gonna have another hilariosity review for you guys. I'm trying to do one a week. I'm really trying hard, and that is going to be for Samurai Cop. Oh my God, what a movie. I can't wait to tell you guys about that one.
That movie broke me, man. Oh my gosh. You guys are the best. Thank you, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.